all animals. That study looks at how the brain maps things socially. Ever wonder how you know where others are while playing ball or just strolling? New research on bats may hold the answer. Researchers trained pairs of bats, with one alpha male labeled as a teacher and the other as a student, to retrieve fruit from a stand inside a room. They noted how students typically tracked the teacher's path toward the fruit. The bats were fitted with technology to record brain cell activity. Activity was normal in student bats acting on their own, but fired when tracking the position of the teacher. Researchers believe this was social play cells in the hippocampus. Student bats also tracked objects like balls and dice, but their brain activity responded differently. Researchers suspect this could provide insights into how the brain cognitively maps out one's environment socially and physically. Animals can teach us so much. Here's how horses got their hooves. A new study can now finally explain how and why horses evolve from having toes to hooves. Equines, such as horses and zebras, are unique for being the only living animals with only one toe on each foot. But this wasn't always the case. The earliest horses were small and lived in forests, with four digits on their front legs and three on the back. The side toes were essential and helped carry their body weight. As their habitat transitioned from forest to grassland, horses' bodies grew larger and their side toes started to shrink. To compensate for the extra load, the middle toe bone became thicker and more robust. Transitioning to a single toe may have also made it easier for the animals to run farther and faster. The study examined fossilized bones of ancient horses and used computer simulation to determine how the bone structures bore the animal's weight. World's first fluorescent frog discovered. Researchers in Argentina have discovered the world's first fluorescent frog while studying the pigment of South American polka dot tree frogs. The world's first fluorescent frog was found in the jungles near Santa Fe, Argentina. The frog's fluorescent glow is only visible to humans when it is placed under ultraviolet light. The frog, like other biofluorescent organisms, can absorb light at short wavelengths and re-emit the light at longer wavelengths, creating the fluorescence. Researchers suspect the frogs use their fluorescence to improve visual perception, as it can make them 30% brighter during twilight and 19% brighter on a night with a full moon. Other land animals that are known for their fluorescence capabilities include parrots and some species of scorpions. Coral in shallow water emit fluorescence as a sunblock to protect themselves and the symbiotic algae inside them from sunburn. In deep sea coral, the fluorescence helps provide a light source for the algae to carry out photosynthesis. Last year, a fluorescent species of polyps was found in the Red Sea. It's suspected that the sea creatures use this ability to attract prey. Are cows the cure for HIV? U.S. government-funded HIV research in cattle may hold promise for future HIV treatments. In a study, scientists injected four calves' flanks with HIV. The cattle's own immune system first produced antibodies that nullified 20% of the virus in 42 days and counteracted 96% of the HIV virus within 381 days. Researchers theorized the cattle were able to do this due to their robust digestive system that encounters a variety of bacteria. The research may point to cattle being a source of medicine in the future.